How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I have a whole bunch of body fat scales and I'm going to compare it with some actual medical scans called a DEXA body scan. This video is not sponsored by any company that I mentioned in this video. I did this on my own and I am personally very interested in if any of these scales matches up with a actual medical scan. It's also not sponsored by Body Spec, which I went to a local place to get my scan. But if you guys are interested in getting a body spec scan. I do have an affiliate link. If you're interested in any of these, especially one of them, which actually matches up with my personal data, you can go and check those out in the video description below. All these four are run stars. All of them are eight electrodes in various forms. Some of them have rechargeable batteries. Other ones have like a little screen on the electrodes you can bring it up to your face so you don't have to look down at the scale like in this one some of them have rgb lighting these two are renfa branded this one is nev fit and this one is fit index which is made by the same company as renfa each one of the apps on these machines give a lot of data sometimes they are redundant especially when you look at fat mass right fat mass and fat percentages exactly the same information except a fat percentage is just whatever fat mass you have and then you divide it by your weight and you get your fat percentage. So I decided to concentrate on a couple of things including weight, muscle mass, fat mass, resting metabolic rate, visceral fat, and also the price of each one of these. So let's take a look at the data now. I chose to do my DEXA scan at Body Spec because it's one of the cheapest. Normally they're around $200 per scan. So they do around two scans if you do a subscription for $65 per month. But I only did one so far and I still have a credit for another one. Here I am at one of the clinics. It's a very simple place where they have a bed. It looks like it's made from general electric they just have a very simple reception in the front and you know like a uh, one or two of these rooms with these scanners and i got the results around two hours later depending on how busy they are and this is a picture of what they got from my x-ray the white is the bone the red is the muscle and the blue is the fat i did get a report fat percentage 18.7 total mass 138.2 fat mass 25.8 lean mass 106.4 bone mass 6.0 Oh, visceral fat, which is interesting that it was so accurate, 0.44 pounds. When you look at the body fat scales, it usually specifies visceral fat to the nearest pound, one single pound, not two digits over. Normally I would get something between one to four pounds on those body fat scales. Lean mass, 16.2 kilograms per meter squared. So meter squared, meaning that they are getting this information from a 2D scan. This is not a 3D scan, right? So it can only do meter squared, but I am the bottom 6% of average lean mass. I think I am being measured against American bodies. I feel like Asian bodies are a bit different. So then, you know, sure, if you take the entire population that's, you know, that they're measuring, I might rank kind of small because my body frame is a bit different. So I don't know, that's my reasoning on why it's so low. Uh, bone density 1.24 grams says I'm on the lower 16% of the people. Uh, maybe I need to eat some calcium and you know do some weight lift or something just just to bulk up a little bit. But yeah, resting metabolic rate is 1,645 calories. Limb lean mass 7.3 kilograms per meter squared. So here's the data. I'm leaving out the visceral fat because as you'll see later that the percentage doesn't work out too well. They're too large in order to see all the other data. So I've grouped them separately. Let's go through each of the scales here. I'm just going to name them. There's a Runstar gold color electrodes, eight electrodes. There's a round display. There's a gold star gold electrodes eight of them with a square display there's a any v fit arrows with four electrodes so no little handlebar that comes up there's a fit index eight electrodes there's a run star that is not gold eight electrodes but it has an lcd on the scale and it's silver there's a run star eight electrode black lcd on the scale there's a renfa RGB with four electrodes. There's also a Renfa four electrodes with an LCD screen. So those are the different products. These are how much change it has, assuming the DEXA scan is, you know, 100% accurate. Because at least on the surface, I think 
that's going to be much more accurate than these ones, which are using algorithms to guess what my muscle mass or fat mass is. So I'm assuming the DEXA scan is 100% accurate. It probably is not. You can get even more accurate if you kind of like dunk yourself in a tank and kind of measure how much volume you're taking up and also your mass based on that, you know, other kinds of medical uh, evaluations. Much more easier to digest all this information is with a graph. So here it is. You take a look at the, the larger the bars, the worse it is, meaning that there's a bunch of error there, right? Let's look at the first one, which is Runstar Gold 8 Electro Round Display. You see the yellow bar here. Bone mass is plus 30%. So the Runstar is guessing my bone mass to be 30% more than the DEXA scan. The green is fat mass. The red is fat percentage. And if you look across the entire graph, they're about the same because the fat percentage and the fat mass is you know exactly the same data. You just divide it by my weight and the percentages changed from that is exactly the same. So whenever you get a uh, body fat scale and it tells you a percentage and it says oh there's like 24 metrics that you have but then you know five or six of them are just percentages converted from the weight it's just the same data they just count it as another piece of data just because they divided by your weight as you can see from the mass that it's measuring it's very very accurate across all the scales. The DEXA scan is probably using exactly the same thing, some kind of weight measurement right on the whole machine. And those are done using load cells. And so, you know, that's a very accurate thing to measure. And so all the scales are pretty good at that. But the fat mass measurement tends to be very low across all these fat scales. Why is that? It's probably because it's trying to guess uh, what my fat mass is based on the average male population of a certain age range. And that might be because my body composition, the way I am built is a bit different than the average American. The scales tends to measure the muscle mass slightly inaccurate, a little bit high. And like I said, for bone mass, 30% too high for most of them. And then the resting metabolic rate, the body fat scales are guessing a little low. So the DEXA scan, you know, it assumes it's a little bit higher for some reason. Zoom out and take a look all this. The lower the bars, the better. And then you can easily see, okay, for some reason, Fit Index 8 electrodes is doing very well. There's very little error. The most error is minus 10% on resting metabolic rate. Everything else is pretty right on the spot as what I get with the DEXA scan. So at least as an Asian male of my age range, you know, I can just use this particular scale and assume my metric is going to track fairly well with the DEXA scan. That also means that I may not actually have to keep on going back to get a DEXA scan every single month, just keep on scanning with x-rays and stuff. Maybe one year later, I can go and, you know, just redo this test and see which one is still accurate. For the visceral fat, all of the body fat scans are very, very off. As you can see, plus 350%, plus 128%. The other ones are around 800%. That's really, really wrong. The fit index is actually not very good as well. You know, in this particular metric, it's not very good at looking at my visceral fat, which is a important metric to measure. So in that sense, the Runstar gold with the square display is the best for measuring my visceral fat. Now we'll look at the price. It ranges from as low as $40 to $60 to $170 for all these scales. On chart forum, the NEV fit that works well for me is right around in the middle, but the Runstar gold with the square display that does well for the visceral fat is $170. So the winner is not exactly the most expensive, but for me at least, this fit index one matches my data from the medical DEXA scan perfectly. That is not to say that it's gonna work out for you. It's just so that the algorithm matches my data very well. The eight electrodes is essentially triangulating different parts of your body by measuring the resistance 
across different electrodes. For example, left leg to right hand, left leg to right leg, left hand to right hand. So when you kind of go through all these permutations, it can figure out, okay, your body is kind of like have a certain resistance this way. And then they'll use all these algorithms to calculate your muscle mass and also your fat mass. It's because fat tends to be an insulator and then everything else, you know, conducts more. So the more fat you have, the more resistance you're gonna have across these electrodes. No matter how you look at it, these scales are a very educated guess of your body information. The dual energy X-ray absorbatometry, it does an actual scan of the body. It sends X-rays through sections of the body. It can see right through so it can use the imagery data and calculate how much fat, how much muscle mass that you have, you know, just from every section of it. In order to guess the body type, it has to make certain assumptions. Sometimes it takes your gender into account, your weight into account, and also your height into account. So based on these metrics, it kind of knows certain things about your body already. And then it uses the electro data to sort of get it to a bit more accurate. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <laughs>